If someone misses how you never said no, please scroll on if this doesn't resonate. Look, I got the say no card. Like, person saw you as their security blanket. They thought you were too good to be true at the time, but now they don't care. Now they're hoping you aren't, that you'll, that they'll be able to just come right back in. Because whoever there was now isn't going along with what they want. They want someone like you. I, they, well, I don't like to use the word submissive, but, you know, take this as it resonates for you. Let me draw some more cards and see what I get. Reflection. That's what this person's been doing. Reflecting on the fact that they don't feel as secure in what they're doing now. I'm telling you, if you follow me, I feel like this is the same reading over and over. So this is a very strong energy coming through. Somebody's really reflecting on who you were to them. Wow, it just honestly feels like the same reading, but I'll say it anyway. Like, something made them think of you. I don't know if they saw someone who looks like you or just heard a song, but... Or, really, I think for a lot of people, it was a situation. Like, they're with someone who just makes them completely unhappy now. And now, they're just looking at you through new eyes. Through completely new eyes. Is this person too good to be true? That's what they want to know. Next card. Radiate positivity. Okay, I think that's what they miss about you. In the last reading, I think I got you are a lighthouse as one of the cards... But this is what they miss about you. Like, it's the same thing. Like, Lighthouse. Like, that's the security. I feel like you balance them out. Like, really, they didn't know that at the time. Like, I think they went... Okay, this is what I'm getting. They went in a direction after you. The other person brought them down. Or led them to some bad habits. Oh, boy. Okay. This is not the energy I got from the last reading. Although it's somewhat, you know, same vein. But I think this person is has gotten into some bad habits. Hmm. I'm alone but not lonely. It's like they feel alone where they are now. They feel lonely, I should say. That's that's how they feel in their current relationship. Because the person just has brought them down to a low vibe. They miss your vibe. They miss how you radiated positivity. I'm ashamed of how I treated you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <sighs> because they can't just come running back in, you know? They're ashamed now because they feel like they took something so positive, so pure in a way. I'm not trying to say, you know, innocent, but, you know, I'm just saying to you, there's some kind of pureness to whatever you gave them. Like, that's what they're seeing now. They're like, I, they, this person was so good to me. And I treated them so badly. You know, and I think it wasn't the first time either. That's why you were too good to be true. But anyway, they're, they're looking back on the, the positive times. They're Right now, they're not thinking about anything bad when it comes to you, okay? They're not thinking about how it ended even. I think, I mean, I think, well, they are to the point where they're shamed, but, you know, they're not letting them think beyond that. It's mm -hmm. like they're just thinking of the good stuff, but they're, you know, in the back of their mind, they're like, I can't come back right back in, you know, and they know why. Mm -hmm. um, but they wish they could. Mm, anxiety and frustration. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is what they're experiencing because they can't just come right back in because they feel like they made a wrong turn. That's what I just got, a wrong turn. This person feels like their life got derailed. But I also get that this person's a blamer and whatever situation they're in right now, they're, like, blaming the other person because they're not with you. But if they were with you, they'd be blaming you for something, too. You know, that's what I get. But I'm just letting you know, like, I think this person, whoever they are, they're trying to send this energy your way very actively. They want you to reach out. But don't reach out. They need to reach out because don't ever do that based on a reading, okay? Um, do that based on your, look, don't don't put me in the middle of that, okay? I'm just letting you know what some cards say. And you have to use your discernment. So, if, you know, and I apologize if you do hear a small chihuahua snoring beside me. Anyway. Let me pull three cards and get some advice for you. Let's see what else I get. Oh, you're a trendsetter. You see, okay, that's a big reason why they miss they miss you. Like, what I get from this is like, the, you know, when you get in a new relationship or, you know, whatever situation, a, a live-in, you know, even if it's just a new roommate or whatever it is, your life's going to change. You know, suddenly your your day-to-day -day life is different if you're living in a new place and this is someone who doesn't like the way their life has changed. They just don't even like their daily activities. They get up in the morning and don't enjoy their life. Because it's not 
anything special. Like with you, it was something special. You're a trendsetter. You're someone who took them in a new direction. You showed them new things. You you were an original. And now they just feel like they spend the re their days just bored, just like, I don't know, whatever. Doing the same thing over and over again. You never made them feel that way. Love flows to you. They, oh, okay. This is, you know, this is all your call. If you want to talk to this person or not. But I think mm, this person really, they just know they botched it. They, they know they, they hurt someone that didn't deserve it. Oh, you attract love. See, both of these, like, you know, I just feel like, okay, the message I get for you regarding this, because this is for you, is that, that this, whatever happened here, I think hurt some of you really deeply, and you don't deserve that. You didn't deserve any of this. This person should be ashamed. Look, I honestly don't believe in shame. I, don't, I think we need to drop all of it for spiritual reasons, long story, but, you know, let, let's talk about just... The, what what's going on here and this person is ashamed and they you know it's understandable why they would be ashamed because of what they did and how they acted i just think it caused you a lot of heartbreak and i want you to know that you're going to get your karma god god sees all you attract love love flows to you. you're going to just get love whatever love it is you want to attract on every level love flows to you it is spoken it is written and so it is amen